This is Severe MMA, and we're a few weeks out from Super Saturday, where, well, you are without doubt one of the biggest prospects in, in the bantamweight division in Europe, and you're taking on Vaughn Lee, UFC vet, performance of the night winner, came off on the short end of the stick against, against the champ, Nathaniel, but this has got to be the biggest, this cliche, biggest fight of your career? Yeah, undoubtedly, um, biggest fight, biggest name that I've, that I've ever fought. Um, Funny story is, I, I, my first UFC event, I watched live Vaughn Fort on the undercard, so I, I now me and him are going to fight. So it's something I'm looking forward to. Uh, you know, I'm aware of the, the test that's in front of me, but I'm, I'm very confident and I'm looking forward to getting the job done come fight night. Obviously, you've, there's, a lot of, you, there's a lot of footage on Vaughn. You, you're doing your homework, and I'm not asking you to give away a game plan, but you got something in mind? Yeah, you know, I've I got a very good... Uh, old school team of coaches, you know, i got my, my two head coaches, Richard Shaw, Carl Park, I've been in the game a long time, my boxing coach, Guy Lockett, it's probably, I said the other day, he's one of the best boxing coaches on the planet, so we've done our own work and, and we, we've got a game plan that, uh, you know, as long as I fall out, I think I'll, I'll get a win and then I'll be comfortable in doing so, but you know, I say comfortable in doing so, that's not me saying it's going to be an easy fight, I know the task at hand, but as long as I follow the game plan and fight how I usually do, I know that uh, I'm going to come out on top. I presume you had a "we'll take anybody" kind of mentality when the name Von Lee was offered. We, 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 how excited were you about this? I was really excited. I, you know, it's a, it's a big name. Apart from Nathaniel, you know, they may, you know, you could argue there's not many other bigger names UK-wise that that come up other than Von Lee in the bantamweight division. So to get the opportunity to fight with a guy like you said, UFC vet, he's, he's fought some of the best in the world, performance the night winner. It's, uh, it's a massive deal for me, and, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, grabbing it with both hands and, you know. Nothing but respect to him for taking the fight as well. I know a young prospect coming up is, is not something he's got to do. He's at the tail end of his career now. He could be looking for the big names himself, looking to get back in there. But he, he's took the fight and appreciate that. And, and, you know, we're going to put on a good show for the fans. In the big scheme of things, uh, you know, and the, and the fight goes the way you see it, where does a win over Von Lee put you in terms of Cage Warriors bantamweight? It's got to be close to a title shot. I mean, I don't see if I beat Vaughn how they can say that I can't fight for the belt. You know, in the finals fighting the same night for the title, I think he's going to win that fight. So, you know, hopefully me and him will get to do it later on in the year. But, you know, that's not right off the other guy. The other guy, uh, the Italian guy may pull it out. So, But I'll be watching the main event closely because I think, you know, like you said, if it all goes to plan and I win, then that's the next logical step. Nathaniel will have had two title fights in his hometown. Maybe the, th the next defense is somewhere in Wales. Yeah, well, I'm not sure you'd be too happy about coming to Wales to uh, to fight me, but uh, you know, I'll go I'll go to London and fight him. I'm not I'm not one of those guys. Although I got a big following and I enjoy fighting in Wales, I'm not one of those guys who, who's got to fight in Wales every time. If if they say, "Chat, you got to go to London and, and fight the champ in London," then that's not an issue. I'll uh, I'll take Wales with me. Trust me, come fight night up there. You, you'll think you're in the Newport Centre when you hear how many people are coming up. You know, when we look at the UFC now, we look at Brett Johns, we look at Jack Marshman. The Welsh invasion is starting. It's got to give you, one, a lot of confidence knowing that, you know, the UFC are looking at a country like yeah. Wales. Two, how, you know, again, how long do you think before the big show? I mean, I'm ready to go, so when it comes, it comes. But I take one fight at a time, you know, I'm, I don't I don't like to get too far ahead of myself. So, you know, I, I know they've got a couple of uh, European shows this year. If they want to call me short notice, I'll step up. That's not a problem, but... You know, at the moment, I'm solely focused on Von Lee and getting that job done. You know, and then if, if I win now, which I think I will, we just go from there. Whether it's a title shot, UFC, whatever, you know, let's get our job done and, uh, and we go from there. One last thing. A message for your fans who may not be in attendance, but I'm sure will be watching in one platform or another. What can they expect to see from you on the 24th? You know, well, they always see. They expect me to come out, you know, and, and not... I'm not in a boring fight ever, so they can expect me to come out, put, put the pressure on like I always do, and... Uh, and expect to finish, definitely. Jack, it is always a pleasure catching always. up with you. Thank you very no much, problem. sir. Jack the Tank Shore coming to Super Saturday, March 24th, and perhaps on his way to a bantamweight world title shot. Thank you.